Happy birthday, buddy. You forgot your birthday again, didn't you? I guess I did. Happy birthday, Carlos. I'm worried about you. Cheers to Carlos. <laughs> Thank you, guys. The guy who'll always be older than me. <sighs> so you, uh, you finished this yet? Not even close. We're back tonight then, huh? Something like that, yeah. Hey, why don't you uh, get away for a couple of days, clear your head? Yeah, I should probably do it, right? Hemingway's Cuba. Seems pretty self-explanatory. What's the problem? I don't know, the problem is, you know, in my head, I have clarity on everything I want to say, but I don't know how to say it. Enlighten us. Well, it's obviously about Hemingway and his life and work in Cuba. Which is your area of focus, right? I, I don't know. I'm missing something, you know? I'm, I just, I'm trying to find a hook to hang everything on. Why don't you just write something else? John! <laughs> John, no. This is what I want to do. I've been working on this for a while. I don't know. I just, uh, I've been thinking about going to Cuba and spend some time there. Why don't you? Yeah, I, sh I should probably do it, right? I would love to go to Cuba someday. Really? You never told me that. You never asked. Is your bathroom safe to use? 
the cleanest room in this apartment. Shh. Oh, Moss, are you serious about this? Of course I'm serious about it. We've been dating forever. Well, congratulations. I don't pop the cork on the champagne bottle just yet. She hasn't said yes. But she will. Everybody knows that she likes you. She's in love with you. You she think? Will. Yeah. yeah. So what's the plan? Plan for what? Your birthday, dumbass. What are we doing? I don't know. Drinks, I guess. Drinks. What time? You guys want to stay seven? So we'll see you at seven at Vero. Right, it's fine. Seven at Vero. Hey, don't be late. Never late. Don't be late. I want. Promise you won't be late. I promise. Looking for Joshua. He's on vacation for a couple of weeks. Really? He didn't mention anything to me. And you are? I'm Carlos Carrasco. I'm Joshua's friend. I come here all the time. Oh, yes. Carlos. We've never met. Joshua didn't mention you, though. Frank. Pleasure to meet you. Joshua asked me to look after his place while he's uh, out of town, attending some personal business. Nothing serious, I hope. Mm, I'm not entirely sure of the details myself. He did, however, say that you would be stopping by. He did? Mm-hmm. In fact, he left something for you. Please, follow me. Por favor. Joshua mentioned you were working on an essay, something to do with uh, Ernest Hemingway, right? Yeah. Well, uh, he thinks this might be a benefit to you. Havana darkness. Mm -hmm. What is this? Look for yourself. It's in Spanish, but most of phrase and wording is very disjointed. <laughs> My very same impression. Who's the other? Anonymous. But this is where it gets interesting. Joshua spoke to some guy from an auction where he picked this up. He was told that this belonged to his great uncle, Antonio Gatorin. Antonio Gatorin. Mm -hmm. The manuscript came with a collection of letters. Here. Recognize the signature? Yeah. That's... Hemingway? Who knows? Antonio Gattorno was a Cuban artist and a very close friend of Hemingway. He actually moved to New York and spent over 20 years living in this city. Joshua said that this manuscript was part of the stock of the books that were brought here from Cuba in the 80s. We strongly believe that this book was one of Hemingway's lost manuscripts, at least part of it anyway, because it appears to be unfinished. See? For him, this place led to darkness which led to pain and to horror. A horror so unspeakable that hung on him forever. Please, take it. No, no, I can't. I mean, if this is what you say it is, it must be worth a fortune. As a matter of fact, Joshua said uh, you might be interested in helping us with that. Oh, absolutely, yeah, of course, but, but it, I cannot take it with me. He insisted you take it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Actually, I'm certain. Joshua will be back in a couple of weeks. I promise I'll take care of this, OK? If you talk to Joshua, please tell him that I said thank you. I'll be sure to tell him that.
straight across the street from that building. Man. I'll be there. All while cashing their checks, he's a freshman. What did he do? He took a swing. Why am I not surprised? I'm sad of you. So, how's your essay coming along? Good, good. Actually, uh, something came out today that may help a lot. Your table is ready. You guys remember Joshua, right? The guy who owns a bookstore, 83rd New York. Yeah, yeah, the sweet old guy. Yeah, the, yeah, the guy that wants to get in your pants, that one? It's not. Anyway, listen, this guy, he just recently acquired a lot of stuff at auction. And one of those things is this whole book. It's a handwritten manuscript. And they believe it may have been written by Hemingway. No. Yes. It's <gasps> mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. And? What do you mean, and? What is, this is a big deal, don't you see it? Hemingway wrote a lot of things that went missing over the years. Especially when he was living in Cuba. So these guys believe that this is one of those pieces. So how do you know if it's an original manuscript, though? Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. I'm working on that, but if I can, if I can prove it is, then I have a foundation for my work. Unlocking the mystery behind Hemingway, or unlocking the mystery behind Hemingway's work. Huh? That's a good working title. title. It's a working title, you know how it's, it's super catchy. Idea. Yeah, I mean, I, I, would, I would read it. Go and spend some time in Cuba doing some research. But I've been telling you. Well, why don't we go? Why don't we go to Cuba? This weekend, why don't we go? Okay, you've had one too many. Well, together. Yeah. Just up and go? Yeah. Hey, I don't work this weekend. You don't work this weekend. Look, Look I'm going to go get us a round of shots. But if you decide to go to Cuba, I might be in. It's not going to be a hindrance to your research, right? No, no. <laughs> Help me out, man. You see me looking at you? Well, yeah, but it's, it's a perfect opportunity to give it a ring. Right. Yeah. Yeah, now you're with me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's great. Right. Well, let's go to Cuba. Yeah, let's go to Cuba, huh? So what's the verdict? Carlos, what's the verdict? To Cuba. Cuba! Is this, uh, is this where you grew up? Is this the neighborhood? No, no. Not too far away from here, though. I'm gonna go and pack.
Hey, do you have, uh, do you have the Wi-Fi code? I told you, there is no connectivity here. Don't worry. At a certain point, I'm gonna have to go and find some place as well. I don't feel like I'm properly prepared for this trip. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I was planning to go and visit one of the places where Hemingway stayed at. You guys wanna come? No, I'm a mess. I'm thinking more rum, cigars, you know. Okay. I wanna come. It sounds like a great, great plan. Sure. Hey, you can smoke your cigars tonight. Maybe in five. Buscan. Eh, Hemingway House. Yeah, look here, please. Huh? No, no, Esta no. Es mi casa. What? This is my house. Huh? Eh, quieren ver mi casa. Yo hablo español. Twenty dollars. Esta, esta es la habitación. Eh, sí, miren. Marta, la, la jevita de Hemingway. La jevita quería, la jevita sí, quería un lugar tranquilo, ¿no? Miren, lo más importante de todos. ¡Ay! Esto sí es una joya. Esto lo escribió Hemingway. El comedor está hacia allá. ¿Eh? Hostia. trying to find something. Did you? I think so. Look. Cool. You know what that means. <laughs> you about ready? What? Ready for what? To go out. Karen's almost ready. No, no, I can't, I can't go out right now. Uh, I need to find a place with the internet. Go. The hell you can't. I went to the Hemingway thing for you. At least you could do is go out. I really need to get a jump on this as soon as possible. Now what you need to do is relax. You need a drink. Can't you find a stopping spot or something, man? We're going to your favorite restaurant. Get, get. It's a really good place. You'll like it. Um, so, um, is, is tonight gonna be the night? No, no, I don't, this doesn't feel right, and the date's off, and it's, you know, it's cloudy out. Hey guys, you ready? You coming with us, Carlos? No, no, uh, you know, as you can see, I have a couple of things to attend right now, so, you know. You know, even Hemingway used to take breaks and drink sometimes. That's right, so listen to her, she's smart. Speaking English. No, hablo español. Oh, qué bien, hermano. Oye, tengo de todo. Mira, tengo PPG y chicas también. Estoy buscando necesito. internet. Internet. Oh, eso sí está caro. Muy difícil. Es que nada más que lo hay en los hoteles. ¿Cuánto sería? Bueno, cinco. Bueno, vamos. Ok. Deja aquí mismo, ser. Ven. Oye, vengo para acá ahora, loco. Fácil. Pues 
Raúl, te cuento, solamente tienes que hacer el sofrití con el aceite, el ajo, la cebolla y todo te queda perfecto. Disculpa un momento. Mira eso, sobrino. Tía Conchita. Eh, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Mi hermana, ¿bien? Bien, bien, ¿Qué bien. haces por acá? Nada, mira, te traje a una gente que quiere ver internet. ¿Sí? ¿Esto es confiable? Claro, tía, por supuesto. ¿Cómo es esto? Como siempre. Ah, bueno, por favor, adelante, no tenga pena. Pasa, bro. Adelante. Mira, esto no es mucho, pero por lo menos cae algo en el estómago. <risa> Gracias. Te aprovecho. Gracias. Bueno, ¿y qué estás haciendo ahí? Eh, estoy trabajando en una investigación sobre este sitio. ¿Eso es lo que más yo conozco? Ese lugar es fula. ¿eh? Hacer, no te metas ahí. Fula. Sí, fula. Complicado. La gente que entran ahí no salen. Mira, se van del aire. Si no sabes, no te metas. Sal de ahí. Internet también ha sido increíble. Tiene que despejarte, loco. Estoy... Toma ahí. De verdad que me hacía falta esto, no, gracias. Claro que sí. Tú sabes que eso es bueno para la, la salud. ¿Dónde tú conseguiste ron? Eh? Yo consigo eso en casa de una amiga mía aquí. <risa> con esta otra. Y ya. ¿Tú sabes lo que pasa? <risa> que todas las mujeres ahora lo que buscan es, mira. El dinero. Esta. El dinero, claro. Toma, otro poco más. Vas a estar mucho mejor. Pues nada. Está gustando mucho. You haven't said a word about my new Cuban look, man. 
Oh, that's a given look right there. Yeah. Huh. You got to work out that look, bro. No, no. Yes. This is legit human gear. I'm oh, sure oh, we seriously. got chipped by it, and he's embarrassing me in the streets of America. I've seen these pants everywhere. Everyone's wearing them. Everywhere in that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Carlos, I think you need to take us on a tour of your city. I here. wish I could, but you guys have to understand I'm working here. That's the main reason why I came here to work. I mean, he's, he's here to work. Well, yeah, and believe it or not, I'm finding great things along the process. Really? Yeah. Tell us about it. Well, you know, I mean, I don't know, important things like, I don't want you guys to, to think I'm getting nuts. But we know you're nuts, so you can just go on. It's a little late for that. I found this section on the book I have. There's a description about a place, a house, an abandoned house. Apparently, the place was shut down back in 58 when the police found five bodies in the basement. Now, Hemingway was here, and I believe he was looking very closely into this because he was doing some research for a book or something. The manuscript I have is a sort of diary that he was using to keep track of these killings. So if, if I can prove this, this this is part of I can get this published. You have my attention. Sounds good. So what happened to the dead bodies? They were mutilated. Nice. I can the story, of course. Yeah. So I mean, there's only one last thing, you know, one last thing to do. Uh, I'm gonna go to the house. Gotta check it out. What? As a matter of fact, it's very close to our place. Close? Uh-huh. How close? Blocks away. We have no excuse. That's why we didn't stay at the hotel. So that this guy could go to the house. Sneaky, sneaky Carlos. What are you doing, Shh. weirdo? No, hold on, let me turn the light on. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Just come on, man. Come. What are you staring at? See that guy? He's gone. Hey guys, what are you doing? Now you go back to bed, I'll be right there. Okay, where's your sleep? Let's go. Alright?
Cause for celebration. I just got engaged. Nothing. Carlos, really? did you hear me? I don't feel like you're grasping the Look. full magnitude of this moment. Did you have to see something. What do you got? Half <laughs> well, That's all starting to make sense now. Where is she? All right, where, where'd you get it? Someone just slided in front of the door. Probably a mistake. It's a neighbor no, or something. Karen, Karen, it's not a mistake. See that thing right there? You see it? It's a same. Okay. Nice progress, right? Now we've got two reasons to celebrate. Now can we go? No, we're not celebrating anything. There's no reason to just... Can you just see what's happening here? Really? You cannot see it. They know we're not doing anything. This is a statement. They're trying to tell me something. It's like that guy from yesterday. He was standing right there. You saw him for an hour looking at me. Is that normal to you? Wait, what guy? There was some weirdo watching Carlos. I don't know. Look, it's, it's Cuba, man. It's, be, it's to be expected. Like somebody's Probably. watching all the time. I'm, I'm being observed all the time. Somebody's after me. I can feel it. Okay, you're starting to sound a little paranoid, Carlos. No, it's not paranoid. It's Look. Calm down, man. Fuck. I'm sorry. Whatever. Crazy. Dude, what the fuck? I'm sorry. Well, you know I, you know I love you. Get your shit together, man. Super cheap. No, probably not. Take a look down. What do you, what do you want? The number in the building. It matches for the one in the picture. So what, man? What, what is it? You gotta be kidding me. I'm so done with this. The same house, same number, same building, same street, same everything. Don't you see it? That woman, whoever she is, she came here because of that. Can't you just let it go, brother? Just... What, do, what do you mean, let it go, John? John, I want to go home. Baby, please, just come sit down. No, I said I want to go home right now. I want to celebrate, and Carlos has been acting crazy since he got here, so we can't. So let's get the fuck out of here. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you with all this, but seriously, there is something behind this. I can feel, I, can, I mean, this is not normal. Hey, if you're so worried about it, why don't you just go to the police? What am I going to tell them? They're not going to listen to me. Right now, I don't wanna fucking listen to you. Listen, just help me in, that's all. Help you in where? I need to get into that building. I need to see what's inside. All right, John, if Carlos wants to go into that building, we're gonna go into the building to see what's inside. Let's go. Now.
get in. I already tried the door. It's locked. Thought you said this was locked. It was locked. Hello? Hello? It's not bad. I mean, it's, you know, a little paint, a little touch up. It's real, it's real marble. Anything about these doors locking, huh? Is that in the manuscript? It's a quote from Hemingway. Yeah, what does it mean? What paint? He wiped it. Wait, don't touch that. For anything else. Of course, right? Worth the shot. Are we gonna get out of here? It has to be an exit somewhere. That'd be great. I'm about done with this hot ass. Lights. I think we should go find an exit out there. There is no exit out there. There is no exit. We need to just go through a hallway and find an Carlos, exit. Carlos, I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. You got us into this. Listen, I didn't ask you to come Guys, here. enough. Focus.
I don't. What's don't wrong? Stop working.
Why are you doing this to us? You need to play the game. We just, we just want to go. Nobody goes home. a glorious day.
They are in the meat room.
comfortable. Yes. I didn't expect that to happen, sir. Yes, sir. I can guarantee that she will not leave this place alive, sir. And if she does, she won't get far. All games have ended, sir. No, sir. No survivors. <laughs> The other set of books? Shipping out tonight, sir. They should reach their destination within the next 48 hours, sir. Uh, don't worry, sir. <laughs> we'll take care of her, sir. We always do, sir. Okay. <laughs> 
Oye, Camacho, ¿tú crees que estemos en el lugar correcto? Este fue el lugar que ella señaló. ¿Y tú le creíste? Bueno, esa historia está un poquito difícil de creer. Pero quién sabe. Oye, esos americanos vienen a Cuba y sabe Dios en lo que se meten. Pues si aquí no hay nada. Yo no veo nada. No veo nada. Y si alguien estuvo aquí, no dejo rastro. Este lugar está limpio. González, hazme el favor. Busca a la ciudadana y tráela para acá. Ok. Mom, there is nothing here. No blood, no room with monitors. There's nothing here. You have to believe me. You have to. My friends, they be here. These people, they, they did this to me. They killed them. They, they killed my boyfriend, please. They tried to kill me. Please, you, you have to believe me. Calm down. Mm -hmm. We couldn't find anything you said in your statement. I'll show you. Let me show you, okay? I'll show you. I'll let Calm you down, show you. madam. Calm down. Tranquila. Okay. Tranquila. Let me show you, okay? I'm not making this up. Please, you, you have to believe me. It was here. It was all here. He's here! He's here! No! He's... He's... No, my dad was here! He's... He's... He's all here! Mom? Mom? Why? No, no, but you have to believe me! Please, please! Just... Llévate al aeropuerto, ¿vale? Monta también el primer avión que saca de ti, ¿ok? Mom! My dad was here! No! He's... Mom? No, no, no! You have to believe me! Johnson. Please, don't scream. Relax, Miss Johnson. If I wanted to hurt you, I would have done so already. On the contrary, I'm here to congratulate you. You should be proud of yourself. 
You're the first to make it out of a little event in one piece. The rules of our little game are simple. They must be abided at all times. No one lives to talk about the game. No one. You broke that rule. You won. But at no avail, I'm afraid. Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter. What matters is this. No matter how far you run, no matter where you try to hide, we will be there. Miss Johnson, nothing ends unless we say so. Do you understand? Now, these are the new rules. You will leave this place in two hours. Two hours and we'll, we'll start hunting you down.